hit the range uh, of cooperating Hello, hello again, friends and loyal Wolfpack members. Chaos Fear, and welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. That's right, we're going to be doing some more science today. But right now, what we're going to do, instead of actually doing science for a change, we are, in fact, going to go and grab some of these guys. We've got three Kerbal Nauts in orbit at the moment that need to be rescued, and we're going to go and rescue each of those today. So that's our mission. So what are we going to be using in order to do this? I've already made up a little pod that we're going to be sending up. I don't know where the little thing is. I think this might be it. Let's try it. Yep, this is definitely the one. Yeah, this is it. So what have we got here? Basically, this is the item that we're using at the minute. Although I've just realized something. We desperately need something like that. Okay, perfect. Well, let's open this up. We've got two solar panels in there, and we've got a probe core as well as a battery. So this is an unmanned probe. Well, an unmanned pod. So we can actually send this up to grab those Kerbals from orbit. This is what we're going to be using for that. Now, I don't suspect we're going to need all that much uh, Delta V or whatever in order to get up and do what we're doing. So, what we are going to do, however, is just to be sure, we are going to make sure that we've got... Oop, wrong button. We want that one. We want this. So, go for that. And again, we're going to go for some swivel engines. There we go. Now, as for the aerodynamics, sweet. There we go. And what we do want to do now, however, is bring that down here, like that. Because this is all going to be going fairly slow. There's going to be more than enough fuel to get us where we're going. But right, let's see. Um, bum, bum, bum. I want to go and sort these out, so that one and that one. And that one, that one, that one. No, we want that one. Because that one's that one. We want that one. Okay. There we go. So we have those two first dropping off, and then those two. Righty. So, more fuel lines. And again, we're going for the... At least I think this is the way around we're doing it. Yeah, first one to drop off there. Okay. Then that. Then that. Then that. Okay, it's a little bit rough and ready, but we'll make it work. Auto strut enabled. There we go. Perfect. And that, I think, is all we need to get into orbit and get those guys back. So let's go and give it a go. All right, so mission ahead. First of all, we're going to start our gravity turn by turning it over to five degrees. And then we are going to want to start slowing down drastically and then just keep pointing over towards our prograde. Now, because we've got a probe core which only just allows us to put stability assist on, we're going to be finding this a little bit awkward to get a decent gravity turn going. What we want to do is by about uh, 10,000 meters, we want to be pointing over about 45 degrees. Now, I did forget to go and fire those off, but it's fine. We're going to be all right. And, in fact, we can actually start th throttling up a little bit now. In fact, throttling up a lot. Because we need to push up our apoapsis as high as possible. We're getting... We're doing well. We've lost a lot of thrust now, so we are going to be cooling down. There we go. And our apoapsis are over... Is nearly 90,000, so that's good. Then, 
we'll just add a maneuver and push ourselves out just like that as soon as we get out of the atmosphere we'll open our cargo bay because that's going to keep our electric charge going and we need that electric charge because we are unmanned so there's not a lot we can do without that and we need to burn from about 25 seconds so let's slow down get ourselves pointed in the right direction and start burning now as soon as we get ourselves fully burnt or fully circular well exactly fully circularized but on our somewhat eccentric orbit we're gonna have to go and point our ship so that we're getting the full the full effect of the Sun again there we go we are now circularized circular circularized but we're actually pushing out a bit further to there perfect now let's nose up so we can get our solar panel on the star on the sun even and what we want to do set as target and try oh look at that that's already very very good so in order to go and get a an encounter we need to go and fiddle where are we intersection we have a separation now of 34 kilometers. We need to get that down. All right, actually, we need to push that up, it seems. So as you can see that, we're moving this, and it's getting the number further and further down. But what are we missing, actually? Yeah, we're too far away. I know what's going on. It's not that that we need to change. It's this. It's the relation here. So intersection 13 kilometers, we can go and get that down even further. We just need to fiddle with two of these. We managed to get that down to five and a half kilometers. I could do better, but it'll just take too long. Now what we need is to go and get to our maneuver. Now it looks like our maneuver is pretty, v well, pretty much right there. That's awesome. And we only need to do about a one second burn, but that's at full full pelt thrust. Line up and warp ourselves a little bit closer. That is our maneuver. Let's go and see if we've got it as close as we wanted it. Yep, yeah. uh, well, I we went a little bit further away now, but it's fine. We can deal with that when we get closer. So now we need to change to the target. Now what this means is this is our speed in relation to our target. We'll get closer. As you can see, we're coming in closer and closer. And as soon as we get close enough, see, we're not far off at all now. What we need to do is start pointing retrograde to our target. There is our target. We need to wipe off 191 meters per second of speed. Now we're getting fairly close. And I think we're getting we're, we're, we're doing good. Now what we need to do is point towards our target and start moving towards them. We haven't got much fuel left in this stage, but we're going to be fine. We'll start, we'll just go and drag this prograde marker over our target marker. We do that just by moving like, just like so, just move away. And there we go. Now we're moving directly towards it. We can speed up a touch. As you'll see, it will start drifting off. So we will need to drag it back every so often. And I went and overshot just a touch, but that's fine. But now we've actually got a way more maneuverable little ship. Time to flip around because we are coming in awfully quick. Now that is good enough. What we can do now is swap over to our capsule. EVA. And where, there we go. There is our target. We can start EVAing back towards our target. There we go. We can do exactly the same thing. 
just getting our our speed well it's basically our direction straight towards our probe well our pod here and there we go look at that isn't that beautiful coming in close there we go can I board nice we've now got a pilot on board change it back to orbit and then we can start burning retrograde to get ourselves back down the planet and here we are in safe approach of the planet all we need to do now is rinse and repeat this another two times and there we go recover and let's go and get the other two
And there we go, that is all three of our <laughs> Kerbal Nuts rescued from orbit. And yes, you may have noticed that I did in fact go and screw up and actually went and rendezvoused with the same capsule we rendezvoused with first time. But we fixed it, it's done, it's dusted. That is awesome. As you can see, we've got a lot of the contracts completed here. Just look at all those. That is epic. Now, that is going to be it for this video. I do hope you guys have enjoyed it. Like the video if you've liked it. Dislike it if you didn't. Neither of those good enough for you. That's what the comments are for. I've been Commander Chaos Wolf from Sci-Fi Gaming. You guys, as always, have been epic. I will see you soon. And until next time, my fellow Kerbal Nolts, keep flying and stay shining.